Hey, Pale. Meet me at the partner. No, for real. The whole time you was doing this, when you was in, when, when you was uh, in, was you still um, in contact with Jeezy? Well, that's the crazy thing. No, bro, like, nobody contacted me. You know what I'm saying? That, and I, that, this is why I really felt some type of way. You know what I'm saying? I felt some type of way because, for one, when my sister went to get my contract, which this is what I'm trying to prove that I'm a real rapper. I'm not a local rapper. You know what I'm saying? My sister went to get my contract from the label, and they had her wait two and a half hours, and nobody never came out the office. So she left. You know what I'm saying? Like, First of all, bro, you had my sister wait all this time. Like, like what y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? And secondly, he never had no type of representation come to come from me, come to my court appearances for me. You ain't had to come. You could have sent anybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when I got acquitted, you called me from Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Telling my mother, like, put her on the phone. Like, boy, boy come out to fly out to Vegas with me right now. Boy, I'm at the Florida fight. You feel me? Come, 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 come on right now for the senior plane ticket. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm chill with my family right now. I see you. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I just felt a certain a, a, a type of way, bro, because my whole time, like, even when I came home, bro, like, at this time, we was living together, all of us. Me, Jesus, Slick, you feel me? Our whole crew, you know what I'm saying? When I came home, my clothes and everything was out of my room, packed up like I was gone. And you weren't going there with a few months, wasn't it? By five months, four and a half months. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, y'all wrote me off. You know what I'm saying? Well, you waited a year. You know, at least, or at least seeing that I got found guilty or anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it just started. It started there. You feel me? And then it just, it just began, from the music, it just began to, to get badder and badder, bro. Or just him showing me different things and, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm trying to keep all this shit from my people because you know how it is when you got niggas who already done told you already, done already and you don't want to prove these niggas wrong, so you're like, I'm, I'm going to thug it out, exactly. see if I can iron this shit out, get it straight, so I ain't got to tell these so, niggas. Exactly. I don't want to tell these niggas, then we iron this shit out. And then these niggas like, you I, I, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I'm on, like, you feel me, the whole time. And, you know, the shit came. We go, we do the USDA album. But keep in mind, I had to drop my indictment papers, mixtape, so I'm on fire. I'm doing shows. I ain't even in Atlanta. I'm on the road. I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? He called me from off the road. Like, bro, come finish this USDM album and let's get some, I'm going to show you how to get some real money. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, cool. I tell my manager, let's stop the shows. You feel me? I come in. We do the USDA album. You know what I'm saying? We do the USDA album. We get on the road. We promoting everything. The album come out. We do one show, two show, three shows, the fourth show. They, they completely stop. You feel me? Now, keep in mind, I done already hooked up. I'm sure you know Coach Wilson. Yeah, I know Coach Wilson. That's my homie. Like, you feel me? He done set up a tour for me and Slick by ourselves. He, Jesus tell me, like, nah, man, y'all don't need to do that, man. I'm going to take y'all on the road with me. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get some real money. So I'm like, all right, cool. We do the one show, the two show, the three show, the fourth show. It completely stopped. Now, me... I always been a nigga on my, on my own. I know how things go. I know when shit going don't how they ain't supposed to go. You feel me? I'm knowing some hate, some fuck shit going on. You feel me? But I'm like, damn. But we ain't doing no more shows. So I'm like, come to find out. He tell Kink, don't book them nigga shows with mine no more. So I'm like, what? So I instantly, I, I ain't, I'm definitely not finna be around this shit no more, dog. You feel me? So I leave. I leave from Atlanta. I go back to Florida. I'm back doing shows. You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind, bro, this is crazy shit in the world. When I got picked up for the federal case, right, it was a good, I had a firearm in the car. You know what I'm saying? But they couldn't see the firearm that was in the seat, bro. Like, you feel me? I wasn't in the vehicle or nothing. You know what I'm saying? When I got picked up, they never, ever mentioned the gun. So when I won for, in Florida, the feds told Georgia, nigga, y'all got to charge him with that gun because they was pissed off. You feel me? So 10 months later, I'm, I'll never forget, I'm outside, I'm going to Florida getting ready for a show. I'm outside of Albany, Georgia, and they have a roadblock as you come in in Albany. They always have the motherfuckers. They have a roadblock. So they pulled me over. Like, I ain't worried about nothing, nigga. I just went through that, all that shit. You feel me? So they pulled me over. They tell me my license suspended. i like, my license suspended? You like, what? Then the man come back. He said, step out the vehicle. So I'm like, what? I step out the vehicle. 
He said, you got a federal indictment. I said, what? I said, man, I just went through that. What you talking about? That's got to be wrong. A computer error, you feel me? He like, nah, you got a federal indictment. So they take me to jail. They got to ship me back to Atlanta. I got to go through this fuck shit, you feel me? So as I'm going through this fuck shit, you know what I'm saying, T.I., get caught with his guns. You know what I'm saying? I have Bruce Harvey, ponytail. I love Bruce Harvey. You know he don't fuck off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had Bruce Harvey. So my lawyer, he telling the judge, he like, he like, your honor, uh, uh, this is the first person I'm telling this in the interview, bro. You feel me? And, and it's facts. Like, Wendy Day was in my court. Wendy Day was there. Snake was there. You feel me? Like, all these people was in court. My lawyer tell the judge, he said, he said, your honor, he just, he said, I can't understand why y'all trying to give my client 15 years. He hasn't been in trouble in 15, in 10, 15 years. Like, you feel me? Um, but Mr. Harris has got caught with all these firearms, and they only giving him a year and a day. The judge says, well, from my understanding, Mr. Harvey, he said, first of all, let me say this. He said, from my understanding, Mr. Harris is a play-play rapper. He said, but your, your client, he's been out there. He know the difference. He said, and from my understanding, the government gave Mr. Harris his plea, his plea agreement. You feel me? Mm. That's what they said. You feel me? The judge said this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, um, so my lawyer just said, my, my lawyer said, and I, I picked this up, but I found out after that my, that the judge gave my lawyer his first case. So I mean, that's how relationships work, bro. He said, he told, my lawyer told the judge, he said, Your Honor, he said, you know, I was, ta I was taught to fight the hell freeze over. And when hell freeze over, we're going to continue to fight. He said, yeah, Mr. Harvey, you know, I know that slogan to myself. He said, but your client, he going to prison. You feel me? So I'm like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, damn dog. I just get, I just got acquitted for a life sentence. Now I'm, they're trying to give me 15 years, bro, for a firearm. No fingerprints. Snake was in the car, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I went in the vehicle. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, they they went to recess. When he came, when the judge came back, the judge called me to the podium. He said, he said, he said, uh, Mr. Foster, come to the podium. He said, bailiff move to the side. Let me holler at Mr. Fawcett. When I come to the podium, he said, you know what, Mr. Fawcett? He said, because before then, I got up and I talked, and then my sister talked. I said, I told him basically, I said, Your Honor, I accept my responsibility for being around a firearm, but it wasn't my gun. You feel me? I feel like I should be punished, but I don't feel like I should go to prison. I said, I done done a lot of things in my life, and I accept all consequences, but it wasn't my firearm. You know what I'm saying? So they go back and they do the, you know, they wait, they do the recess. When he come back, tell the, the bailiff to move to the side. He called me. They said, he said, Mr. Foster, I believe you're a changed man. He said, do me a favor. Come back in two years. No, he said, come back in one year and um, tell me about all the good stuff you done done. So that's when T.I. was going through his shit for, you know, whatever. And um, they didn't know how much time he was getting. He, he had the plea agreement, but they didn't know how much time he was getting. He, so my judge wanted to see how much time they was going to give him. You feel me? So make a long story short, I got to do the whole year on probation, federal probation. I got to report. I got to tell, anytime I go on the road, I got to tell where the hotel I'm living at. Um, any, anything that's going on, I got to come in. I got to take um, P tests. You feel me? All this shit going on while I'm still trying to record my album. So we passed the USDA album, we on my album. You know what I'm saying? Um, but make a long story short, by the grace of God, when I come back, you feel me? Um, I wound up getting three years probation. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the prosecutor was like, they're going to appeal it. The judge was like, I, you know, I've been doing this so many years. You can appeal if you want. I don't care. I'm not sending this man to prison. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I get through that shit. You feel me? But um, I said Bless, that. Say, yeah, Bless the Hall of Fame. Yeah, dog. for sure, for sure. For real, dog. I said that to say this. That what type of shit happened to you when you were a real one. Yeah. But I said <laughs> you that. About I said that to say this. Keep in mind, now, your artist has went through two federal indictments. You haven't sent nobody here to support him, neither case, right? But every time T.I. go to court, nigga, you front and center. Like that's your best friend, and y'all y'all wasn't even like that. If we keeping it real, y'all wasn't like that. Y'all probably started being like that years later, but y'all wasn't like that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to myself, like, this shit, this shit, this shit crazy, dog. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm dropping my album, I'm getting ready to drop my album, and I'm in New York doing my promo. Louis Bag is number 19 on radio right now. You feel me? 
So my product manager, Dave Von Washington, he want to get it number 10, top 10. You feel me? So I'm going for a meeting. As I'm going for a meeting, my sister called me on the phone before I go in the Def Jam building. She like, I can't believe this shit. Like, I'm like, what? What's going on? She's like, they just played a Young Jeezy record featuring Kanye West 20 times on the radio back to back. You feel me? So this at the same time, my record is just now. And you already know, bro, if you ain't the main artist on the label, yeah. you got to convince them to even be rocking with you like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't oh, I don't. I done got all these people in Def Jam excited about my project, nigga. And as I walk in the building, guess what's blasting on the motherfucking, on the speakers? This song. This song, put on for my city, him and Kanye West. I'm like, what the fuck, dog? I'm hotter than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But keep in mind, bro, like, I'm looking, I'm, it's still in the back of my mind, like, bro, like, this is my brother. He will not do me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he will not do me like that, even though I know in my heart, bro. That shit ain't right, dog. Like, you feel me? That shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So as I leave, the, when I, I do my interviews and shit like that in the office, as I'm leaving, he called me on the phone. He's like, bro, he like, I just want to let you know, I know you kind of, how you feeling right now. He was like, I felt the same way when Jay them tried me like that, talking about Jay-Z. I'm like, bro, it ain't no pressure. You feel me? It's all good. Because I know I'm a hustler. I'm, I'm just, I'm glad about the opportunity, dog. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And again, you know, when you tell your family or somebody some fuck shit somebody done done, dog, they're going to look at them different from that day. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They're going to never look at them the same. So I'm just trying to keep all that shit on the wraps and just do what I can. I'm buying magazine covers on my own. I'm, I done got a publicist on my own. I'm doing all this extra shit because I know I'm grinding. Like, you feel me? And um, I'm going through that shit, dog, as I get ready to drop my album, drop my album. And uh, I'm at DTLR. Finna do my uh, signing and shit. My sister called me again. She like, I'm in Target trying to get the album. You feel me? So you know how important radio versions was of our album then. Yeah. Can't no DJ play your shit without the radio. They weren't chopping your shit up then doing no nah. clean version. You had to have a clean version. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You had to get the whole album. Had the to be, whole yeah, album. Had dirty and clean. Dirty and clean. You feel me? How about they don't print up a clean version of my album? At all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, like, nigga, I'm literally in tears right now, dog. You feel me? Like, that's how mad I am. I'm in tears, my nigga. Then my nigga called me. He like, bro, I'm in Target trying to get your album. You feel me? Everybody calling you. They calling me, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, like, this shit crazy, dog. I can't believe this shit. So he called me on the phone. No, I called him on the phone. I'm like, bro, what's going on? Like, you feel me? I'm like, my sister in the um, Target trying to get my album in a clean version. Like, hold on, man. Let me call you back. He had a habit of blaming shit on Kink. You feel me? So he called, he called me back. He like, man, he like, bro, like, listen, man, I apologize. Dog. He like, dog, we're going to fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? But King can't print up a clean version. So I'm like, my heart dropped, dog. I'm like, man, this shit crazy, dog. I, I can't believe it. Like, you feel me? And uh, that shit was crazy, dog. You feel me? I, I, I continue to try to thug it out. I'm fighting. I'm fighting court cases. I'm fighting this thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, that shit just went, it wore me down. Mm-hmm. I can't do nothing to the nigga because the nigga my people, like, I grew up on that. You don't touch nobody you love, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And he don't even get that, dog. He don't know how blessed he is, bro, because anybody else, dog, it'd have been real pressure, probably, like, for real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, dog, that shit fucked me up. 